Hi everybody, thank you for watching. So today's video is going to be my Pure Cosmetics collection. So I wanted to kick off a new series where every month I take you through a certain brand's collection of mine and just share everything that I have from that brand. So we are kicking it off in January and we are starting with one of my favorite, favorite brands, which is Pure Cosmetics. I decided to go with Pure to kick off this series because like I said, it's just one of my favorite brands. Like obviously throughout the year, I'll be talking about my favorite brands, but Pure was especially special to me because I started purchasing them way before I even started watching YouTube videos. Back in my college days, I stumbled onto Pure all by myself, just walking through Ulta one day, and I started buying from that brand and just started falling in love with them. Over the years and now since getting on YouTube, they're just a brand that I continue to love and support, purchase from, wear, and I just have so many products from them that I love so much. So I thought this would be a fun series to take you guys through my collection. So today's video is gonna be all about pure cosmetics. Let me know in the comments down below what brands you would like to see in future videos. Like I said, I'll be doing these about once a month. Um, so I'm just really excited to kick off this series. If you're new to my channel, welcome, hello. My name is Samantha. I post videos four times a week. Wednesdays is my Will I Buy It series. I also post on Thursdays, Sundays, and Mondays. Sometimes I'll throw in an extra video if need be, but typically I will post four times a week. So I'll hope that you will hit the subscribe button to become a part of the fam and get notified when I post my videos. But that being said, why don't we go ahead and jump into my peer collection. Okay, so before we hop into it, so you can purchase Pure products from purecosmetics.com. They are also available at Ulta. You can also purchase them at Kohl's as well. Those are where I typically will purchase from Pure. They might be available on other like retailers and, and in select stores, but I typically will either purchase directly from the Pure website or mostly from Ulta, but I have also purchased in stores at Kohl's too, so I wanted to throw that out there. Um, so the first thing that I want to talk about is the very first product that I ever have purchased from Pure. And like I said, this was back in my college days, which was not last year or the year before or the year before that. So moving on. Well, the first thing that I ever purchased is this guy right here. This is the 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Makeup. So this is my new guy, but I do also have this guy. So I have a new one ready to go when I need it, but this is just a pressed powder. I like it because it comes with a mirror, so I often take this traveling, but it's even easy to be able to do my makeup and have the mirror in here. And itch my eyebrow. Like I said, I mean, I don't even know what number this would be for me because I started buying them when I was about 19 years old and that was 10 years ago, in case you're wondering. So I get mine in the shade tan. I've always purchased the shade tan, and I think I do that because it helps give me a little bit of color sometimes. Like not only does it help smooth out your face and even out your complexion, it also gives me a little bit of a boost of color. So I have always purchased mine in the shade tan, but I love this product. This was mentioned in my ride or die video. I believe I even mentioned it in my best of beauty 2016 video, even though it didn't release in 2016. I didn't find it in 2016, but it's continually, continually a favorite of mine. I've repurchased these for so many years, so many times. The four in one pressed mineral makeup, I think is just an absolute must have. Another one of my absolute favorite products from Pure, and if you watch my Instagram makeup tutorials, you're probably not surprised because you see this guy a lot. But this is the Cameo Contour Stick. So this is what it looks like. So you have your contour side right here and you have a concealer side right here, and then they just twist up like so. I have mine in the shade Medium. I especially love this for the contour side, and I'm not sure what it is because I did mention this in my Best of Beauty 2016 video, and I mentioned another like contour duo stick, and I said I like the contour side more. So I don't know what that is about these duo sticks that I lean toward the contour side. The concealer side to me was just a little bit drying, but what I actually did was I tried that like flame hack that you see on Instagram where people are like lighting their makeup on fire, especially like stick makeup and they're saying it's make it, making it smoother. I honestly thought that that worked on the concealer side. I actually did it in an Instagram video and I thought, okay, that applied like much more easier and it just felt easier to blend out because your under eyes can get very dry, especially for me, especially in the winter time. And then like when I'm feeling like I was having to like 
really drag the product on my under eye. I didn't like that and it was harder to blend out, but if I like put some flame on it for a little bit, it actually worked out a lot better. So I've been doing that more, even not just for an Instagram video. I've been doing it in the comfort of my home office, which is funny, but the contour side is absolute key. I love this. And I know like I need to switch it up and I need to start doing different things on Instagram because my tutorials are like, look, she's using the Cameo contour stick again. I know, but I love it. Uh, I was super excited to get this and yeah, this is one that I definitely, definitely would recommend. Okay, so I think this is going to be the only product that I wouldn't recommend that wouldn't work out for me, but I think it's important to mention because not every single product that a brand puts out is everybody going to love like it's just it's just not really possible things aren't going to be for you they're not going to look good on you you're not going to like how they apply whatever it is so i just want to be really honest um I, I should have mentioned this in the beginning i guess but this isn't a sponsored video um pure doesn't know that i'm making this video they didn't ask me to make this video i just thought it would be a fun series to do but i definitely do want to to mention that as well because yeah you're just you're not going to love everything it's just really not that possible but this is the Browder from Pure, the Perfecting Brow Powder. I mean, if you guys are not new to my channel, then you know that I don't really get along the best with brow products. Like, I, I'm not the best at doing brows. I'm not really great at anything when it comes to brows. So this definitely could be more of like a user error type of thing. I, I'm not going to be surprised at all if it is. But this is what the applicator looks like, and I just... I just was confused. I tried it several times and it is almost like, it's like a powder, but then like you put it on and it's almost more like gel like, I don't know. It just was super confusing to me. I couldn't get it. Maybe with more practice I'd be able to get it, but I don't know. This one just didn't work out for me, but uh, unfortunately that's the case. But has anybody else tried the browder from Pure Cosmetics? Did it work for you? Like, is it just my fault? Because I would totally claim responsibility because because I'm not great at brows anyways. So another product that I absolutely recommend and I take everywhere with me is the Pure Hydrogel Lift. I wanted to make sure I was gonna say that right. The Pure Hydrogel Lift. This stuff is freaking amazing. So this is what it looks like and you just run it along your under eyes and it's like cooling. I don't know how it does it, but it's cooling and it just helps soothe the under eyes, depuff, make you, makes you look more awake. I travel with this stuff. I use it almost every single time before I do my makeup. Like before I do anything, I will put this on first because I just love it. I am such a fan of like under eye masks love them go through them very very frequently but this is so much easier like you don't have to worry about putting them on keeping them on or anything like that you just run this under your eyes and it's like you had gel eye masks on for 10 minutes it's amazing it's bomb i recommend this for everybody this one is kind of a newer product for me. This is the Pure Joystick, which is an exfoliating deep pore cleanser. So I haven't been able to try this one out yet because oh, I've, I've tried it twice just so I could like see what it was like and see what it was about, but not enough to be able to like fully give a review on it. But like this is kind of like what the stick looks like. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it's an exfoliating stick. It reminds me a lot of like the Tarte Friction Stick, which I talked about in my skincare video. I haven't been able to really test this one out yet because this is something that I'll put in my shower. I talked about in my skincare video about how I like to keep like masks and exfoliators and stuff like that in my shower and I have too much in my shower right now. Like I don't need another one. So one of my like goals for 2017 is to be better at using things up before opening things. Like that's like one of my goals because it was getting a little ridiculous in there, but I have been able to test it out twice, make sure it didn't, you know, like break me out, make me sensitive. I do have sensitive skin, so sometimes, especially with exfoliators, I really do need to, you know, test them out first before I start using them on a regular basis. This one didn't irritate my skin at all, felt really nice and really just like clean. It just, you know, makes your skin feel clean, like everything's off and your skin's nice and exfoliated. So yeah, the Pure Joystick, I will be using this more very soon. So this palette I think is so much fun. This is the Sun Kiss Glow Strobe Palette. So this is what it looks like. So it is basically cream highlighters. You have three different shades. You also have a mirror. I like the packaging. Like it's nice and like slim type of packaging. It's really easy to travel with and it has the nice size mirror. So you have your three different shades here. This is more of like a gold. Then we have a rose gold and then we have more of like a deeper bronze shade. I especially gravitate of course towards these two 
too, but especially like the more rose gold shade in the middle, I really love. What I like about these is that it's a cream highlighter. So I talk about how highlight can, you know, show texture quite a bit. And it's, you know, when you have texture, especially here on your cheekbones, and then you put highlight, like especially a powder over it, it's highlighting your texture. That is what it's doing. So it's really tough for me. And I've actually found that cream highlighters can tend to not show the texture as much as the powder ones. So I really, really do like cream highlighters or they're also really good for if, you, if you're not dealing with texture to put these down first and then actually put a powder highlight over it because then it's like really bam, really in your face and really awesome. So this was one that I got it and I was like, I don't know, you know, we'll see what I think about it. And I do find myself reaching for it quite a bit, especially this middle shade I think is beautiful. So that was the Sun Kiss Glow Strobe Palette. Another highlight palette that I just got recently, this is the Elevation palette. So inside it does come with its little mirror here and then it has these three highlight shades. So there's Boost, Altitude, and Upgrade. I really like Upgrade. It's like a more like a peachy sheen type of color. Boost is more kind of like the gold. And, and then Altitude, I'm not really sure how to explain Altitude because when you look at it, it almost looks like... I don't know if I want to say holographic, like iridescent type of shift to it, but I don't, I don't really notice that when I wear it as a highlight. It almost looks more like just a white highlight. So that one I actually don't reach for a lot, but this upgrade is the one that I really love the most. Just a really beautiful, like peachy highlight color. And then what I'll say about the pure highlighters is that I don't find them to be like the Anastasia ones where they're super blinding and super in your face. They're more subtle highlights, but if you like that, like the more like natural, you're just glowing highlights, I think the Elevation palette is really good. Or what I've done also is first come in with the Strobe palette and lay down the cream highlight and then come over and place the powder highlight. And that does give you more of the highlight effect. But yeah, that is the Elevation palette. Okay, we are almost to the end. A couple more palettes to talk about. This is a new one to me as well. This is the Trolls palette in collaboration with DreamWorks from the Trolls movie that came out. This is what it looks like. It does have a mirror and then these beautiful shadows down here. So this is a close-up of what the palette looks like and it's so beautiful that I haven't used it yet. And this is really, really new to me, but every time that I've gone to use it, I'm like, I don't want to, it's so pretty. I know that I just need to use it and I'm gonna swatch a few right here because I know if I swatch it, then I'll be more apt to use it, but I just like, it's just so pretty. Okay, so let's swatch a few here together. Okay, there's a few swatches. So that is Karma, Pop Icon, and Branch. So Karma, Pop Icon, and Branch. That branch color, I'm like, I think that's what I want to use when I do a tutorial with it. And then how about one more? This is Bergentown. I'm not, <gasps> that's awesome, okay. I think I, what I want to do is actually do my first Instagram live makeup tutorial using this palette. So this one is out of stock right now on the Pure Cosmetics website, but I did check Kohl's and it is still available there. It was also supposed to be available in Kohl's stores. So you'll be able to find it at your Kohl's in stores, but it is also available on the Kohl's online website right now. It's $29. Again, comes with these shades. Like there's beautiful browns and neutrals in there, but there's all these, these pops of colors, this hot pink right here. Um, and then there's also this really beautiful orange, which I'm really inspired by as well. So um, just a really beautiful palette. I'm excited to create my first tutorial with it. Again, here are a few swatches from the palette. It looks beautiful. If you're not following me on Instagram, I'm just March Beauty Word, but I will be doing a Instagram live with this tutorial coming up. So 
be on the lookout for that. Okay, and then the other palette that I want to talk about is the Revolution palette. This is another eyeshadow palette. This one is only $15. It comes with a mirror and then here are the shades right here, but it also comes with a deluxe size of the Fully Charged Mascara. Here is a close-up of what the shades look like. I have used this. Um, I believe I have a look that I can insert here that I did for Instagram, but it's just like a really kind of like darker, smokier type of palette. So they are mostly shimmers. These first four are shimmers, and then this last one here is a matte color. So definitely more for like a more dramatic, darker, smoky eye, I would say. But if you like that, I think that would be really awesome because it does come with the mirror. It's small, so it's easy to travel with. And like I said, it comes with the deluxe size fully charged mascara, and it's only $15 for this whole thing. So I was like, that's a pretty darn good deal, in my opinion. Okay, so last up that I have to talk about is lippies. So this came in a set. It came with four of the matte lipsticks and then also the lip oil. So I got the set, um, the perfect matte lip set, which came with all these plus the lip oil, but you can get these individually. They're just the matte lipsticks and they are $20. So my favorite shades, of course, are these like pinkish nudes. They are in obey and obsessed and i wear these the most the darker ones i th i think we're okay but they're definitely more like patchier than the nudes are like you just kind of had to work with them a little bit more so i definitely reach towards the nudes the most you can get the set i'll leave the set listed down below in case you'd want to get them to try it out you get little smaller sizes of them or like i said you can purchase them individually i like the formula because they were more comfortable on the lips i don't think that they're the the longest lasting liquid lipstick that I've ever put on but they're also one of the more comfortable liquid lipsticks like they weren't super super drying so that's what I liked about them but I also loved this lip oil like really loved this lip oil this is the agave lip oil so you can wear it underneath a liquid lipstick to help you know have it be more comfortable you can wear it over a liquid lipstick um, if you don't want the super matte look I honestly just wear it alone like just when I'm sitting at my desk, maybe I wanna put chapstick on or something. Instead, I'm reaching for this because it just feels like nourishing and moisturizing on the lips and I appreciate that. Like I love lip masks, I love lip scrubs, I love lip oils, and this agave lip oil is no different. I became really obsessed with this after I got the set. So yeah, the agave lip oil is really good or else I would really suggest the nudes from the liquid lipsticks. All right guys, that is going to be everything for my Pure Cosmetics collection. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and seeing part of my makeup collection. Like I said, I wanna do these videos every month, so let me know what other brands you wanna see in the upcoming months so I can get those filmed. Uh, I do have a makeup collection series. I'll leave the playlist listed down below where I walk you through each um, kind of category of my makeup, like foundations and then highlighters and eyeshadow palettes. But now I thought it would be fun to show you the different brands that I have. So hopefully you guys like this video idea. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up because that will really help know. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know if you have any of these items that I've mentioned from Pure or anything that caught your eye that you really want to try out. Like I said, they just had been one of my favorite brands way before my YouTube days and I was really excited to kick it off with Pure because it's just one of my favorite brands. I have a lot from them and I was excited to show you what I had. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe before you go and I'll catch you guys real soon in my next one. Bye.